Hey dads and coaches, welcome to Whiteboard Wednesdays. I'm Coach Mack with Authority Football. Today we're talking about one of my favorite and most dependable passing combinations to keep our chains moving, keep our offense on the field, and go down and finish those drives with touchdowns. And that's the curl flat combination. Now the curl flat combination is pretty simple and that's the point. Okay, we wanna run the curl from number one, we wanna run the flat from number two. Our quarterback is taking a five step drop with a hitch at the top of the drop if he's under center and if he's in gun then it would be a three-step drop with a hitch. That hitch is important for timing as well as for um, stressing the read who is our number two defender um, and making sure he commits to one of our routes giving us the open man uh, with the other, the other route in the combination. So we execute the five-step drop with a hitch and we want to put a lateral stress on number two. Um, in cover three where the corner has the deep thirds and the outside linebacker has the flats is a great cover three beater. Uh, in man um, we should get a similar type of matchup so this works well against man as well. Any single high safety type of coverage this is a really good combination to throw. Now in either of those scenarios the number two defender will most likely um, take the flat, the shoot route. Now what that does is as he commits to that, it creates a throwing lane right behind his ear, you can see. So as he passes and commits to that, we have a throwing lane right behind his ear, right about the time that that corner route is, uh, that curl route is breaking down. Now where's the number one defender? He should be way out of there because A, he's in man or cover three, and that means we've got to create that vertical stress and push him out of there. The hitch times up with the break. That ball should be out um, before we even finish breaking down. And so that uh, corner now um, should be off, giving us a nice, a nice you know, pocket of grass to throw into right there. So pretty simple, and that's what we want. Now, if number two doesn't commit, then we obviously hitch and we get that ball um, out in space to the widening flat here, and he's gonna take that right down the sideline. Really, really simple stuff, um, and uh, really builds confidence for your quarterback. Now the biggest problem I see, there's two things. One is not getting a vertical stress, allowing that corner to come back down and make plays there um, on, uh, on our routes. And so uh, we wanna make sure we push that vertical off, make it look like a good fade route that we're threatening. The second problem is who we call the problem, which is the number three defender. The number three defender is working out to that hook curl zone where he's gonna wall any inside routes. If we're late with our footwork, we're giving him more time to get out there to our route. The other part, uh, part of that problem is us taking the route to him. So if we get any routes that are sloppy, that curl in like that, we're taking it right to number three. So we want that vertical stress, snap it off. Um, we run this route, depends on those ages. It's between an eight and a, and a 12 yard route. We run this route um, between seven and nine steps so that it's always breaking down at the same time uh, for our quarterback to launch that ball there. So um, really simple stuff. Easy read for your quarterback. Make the read, make the guy wrong, and uh, get your athlete the ball and keep your chains moving. Check us out next week. We're going to talk about some other of my favorite combinations that are simple to install, low risk, high reward, and building confidence for our quarterbacks so your uh, offense can stay on the field, eat clock, and go down and score. We'll check you out next week. Uh, looking forward to seeing you then. Hey, this is Coach Mack. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to our channel.